This vehicle has been provided for Corey Fulham Car Guide to Film by Pinewood Park Motors of Kirkland Lake, Ontario. To check out their other inventory, feel free to stop by at their website at pinewoodparkford.com. For additional information about Pinewood Park Motors, check out the description below where you'll find their information such as their address and their telephone number. What's up guys, Corey Fulham, your car guy here. Today I've got a video for you of this all new 2024 Ford Edge Titanium. This one's got all wheel drive and as well as a carbonized gray metallic exterior with medium soft ceramic interior with leather seats. The tire sizes on the Ford Edge Titanium are actually a 245, 50 or 20s over here. The 2024 Edge Titanium does have remote start over here. We'll just make sure the vehicle's locked and then we'll just press this button twice. There you go. The 2024 Edge Titanium does come equipped with a smart key system by just keeping the key fob in your pocket and utilize the touch sensors on the driver and passenger door handles to lock and unlock the vehicle right over here. So to lock, just tap this little orientation here and then have to wait in a second, grab behind the handle and then it automatically unlocks the vehicle. As you can see, it does have Ford Edge logos on the door sill right there. The Ford Edge Titanium does have push button start low key over here. If you want to start the vehicle, all you have to do is to make sure you have the key fob within the interior or the key fob is in your pocket. Apply your foot to the brake and push the push button ignition to start right here. Starts right up. So I'm gonna close the door. Now on this one, you do get a nice three spoke steering wheel over here with sport grips over here to give it a nice little sporty feel. The Ford Edge has two different transmission choices available for 2024. One is the seven speed automatic transmission found on the ST models and this particular eight speed automatic transmission with sport mode over here. And it does have paddle shifters mounted behind the steering wheel with simulated gears. And when you put the vehicle in sport mode, the automatic start-stop technology will turn off. And then when you disengage the sport mode, the automatic start-stop technology will turn back on. And when you put the vehicle in reverse, your backup camera appears with guidance lines, just like that. This particular Ford Edge Titanium does have a touchscreen along with AM FM radio, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth streaming, Android Auto, and as well as Apple CarPlay and navigation as well. Here on the touch screen over here, we can go to Sirius XM right there. We can change all the different stations if we like. We can go to home over here and check out the uh, navigation system right there. You can see where you're going right there, back to home and the uh, phone right here, Bluetooth phone right there. And then we got media right there, which you can see right now. And then you can also access your owner's manual over here, entertainment. You got di all the different games there, jigsaw puzzles, you name it. Owner's manual right there. You can watch videos on here driving and operating right here, enhanced active park assist right here, you can see right there. You might be interested to know that your vehicle can help you parallel and perpendicular park and help guide you out of a tight parallel parking spot. It can also let you know if there are any objects in front of, behind, or next to your vehicle. Let me explain. To activate the enhanced active park assist feature, press the active park assist button on the center console here. Then signal to indicate. It's actually pretty cool to see. So this particular model does not have some sort of a climate control buttons where you can control it with the buttons. Instead, there's actually a little thing over here. You can actually control it from the touch screen there. It only has this setting over here. You can change the blower fan speed over here. And then you got this button over here, AC, temperature settings, front and rear defrost settings, 
This one does have heated and cool seats and a heated steering wheel over here. Two USB ports for USB charging and a wireless charger down below. Electronic parking brake is located over here. We just pull up to engage it. And then it'll give you a message and it will tell you if it's, the parking brake is set. Put your foot on the brake and then just disengage the parking brake. Automatic start stop technology over here. Activated by the switch. Parking sensors. And if we open this up, extra storage right there. Cubby storage. It does have white color accent stitching there. It does have cruise control over here, adaptive cruise control. You can turn it on or off if you like. And when you turn it on, you can adjust the gap over here with this little button over here. Adjust the gap right there. And it's got the uh, some hands-free function, some sort of thing right there. Driver information screen controls are located over here. We'll scroll up over here. You can see the tire pressure. You can see the fuel gauge and uh, temperature over here. Distance to empty, intelligent all-wheel drive. You hear? Entertainment screen controls over here. You can see the you can see what's playing right there. FM, entertainment, navigation, phone over here. Lane keeping assist button over here. All we have to do is press it. You can turn it on or off right there. Power lift to gate button right there and traction off button there. It's also activated by the switch also. Steering wheel audio mounted controls over here. You can control it right over here or this button there. Visit your Ontario Ford store or Ford.ca for details. Visit Pinewood Park Motors, home of the upfront guys at the North Y. All right, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and flip on the automatic headlights and check that out as well. And we'll switch on the fog lights and hazards. The Edge Titanium does have an automatic driver's side window. And we'll go check out the exterior, shall we? And also the vehicle will actually sound the horn a few times that'll let you know if the proximity key fob has left the vehicle's interior. Now let's go pop the front and check out that motor over here. The Ford Edge has two different engine options available for 2024. One is the 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, only available on the ST models, and this particular 2 liter double overhead cam turbocharged 4 cylinder engine producing 250 horsepower at 5500 RPM and 280 foot pounds of torque at 3000 RPM. Okay. So I'll go shut it down. And we'll go check out the rest of the vehicle. Here on the back seat area over here, cup holders do come down just like that, like so. And then you got the uh, rear vents over here for your rear occupants, and as well as a uh, heated seat controls right there, and a little cubby storage over here two USB ports for USB charging, and as well as a AC um, 110 volt outlet, 150 watts over here. Comes out like so. The Ford Edge Titanium does not have some sort of a fuel switch where you can open it from the driver's side. Instead, just go like that, and you got easy fuel right there. And it tells you all the instructions right there with your important safety information right there. And I'll go open the power lift gate over here. If you want to open it, you just press this button twice on the key fob right over here. And it opens just like that. It's all extra cargo space over here. And then we open this up. And then you got your spare tire right here, extra floor mats right there. And then you got extra 12 volt outlets right over here on the back side. And then you got those controls over here for your back seats. We'll just do the left side over here. You just push that. 
And then we'll do the same thing for the right side right there. Comes down just like that. I'll put them back up for you. We'll just do that side over here. Like so. Interior lighting over here and a cubby storage over here in the cargo area. You can also close the uh, power lift gate over here with the push button over here, with this little button over here or on the key fob. Pushing that switch once over here will close the lift gate only. It cannot be opened from that switch. The lift gate can be opened with the uh, key fob or you can actually close it with the key fob too. So we'll press that switch once and it should close the lift gate just like that. And we'll check out the passenger side area. Same thing, Ford Edge locals on the door sill. And then you got a 12 volt power outlet over here for your passenger over here. Doom lights on top, sunroof controls. It does have a sunroof on top. Sunglasses storage there. Over here. Glove box. Garage door opener controls over here. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoy my review on the all-new 2024 Ford Edge Titanium. Be sure to stay tuned next time for more videos just like this. And remember, as always, like, subscribe, favorite, and don't forget to check out my other videos. Be sure to stay tuned next time. There's always a lot more where it came from. Take care, guys.